Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. But today we're going to do something a little strange, a little different. We're going to do a trash fish for treasure for ladyfish. Yep, I said it. We're going to cook up a ladyfish. I got another video coming out right after this one, how to clean a ladyfish, because I'm not going to show the process in this video, but I'm going to show you the cooking process. I'm a little apprehensive about this, to tell you the truth, so we'll see how it, how it works out. I've seen some YouTube videos. It seems pretty good. A lot of people say it is very good if you follow a couple simple steps. So we'll see. Wish me luck on this one. Because this is either going to be something I eat all the time and love, or I ain't ever doing this again. Big ladyfish, I think. Still got him? Yeah, you still got him. I think. Yep, you still got him. Oh, great. There we go. Nice, babe. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's a big ladyfish. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. Are you okay? Uh, let's hook my finger. Got it. Awesome. That's a big old ladyfish. Okay, now I'm definitely doing the trash fisher treasure with these. Been seeing some videos where people say you can clean them with a spoon. We're gonna try that out. Nice job, babe. All right, guys. Well, I got my ladyfish here, and basically, I'm just gonna fillet it off both sides, and then I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna scrape the meat off of the fillet off the bones, and it should lay the bones flat against the skin. I'm not gonna show that process in this video, but I'm gonna put the link right up here and be able to get to the video from there and watch that process in my cleaning table. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll get back with you in a minute. All right guys, well I'm done cleaning the ladyfish. This is what you end up with. Nice little bowl of meat, two fish. And basically we're just gonna make some patties, bread them and deep fry them. And supposedly they turn out very similar to a McDonald's chicken nugget. So we'll see how that goes. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Let's see what happens here. All right guys, I'm in the kitchen now. Here's my uh, ladyfish meat that I scraped off with a spoon. I'm just going to put some salt, a little bit of salt, some pepper, and a little bit of this black and red fish magic. About enough there. But Chef Paul's black and red fish magic, this stuff is awesome. So I'm just going to mix this all up. Yeah. Supposedly you don't have to use no egg and no breading to bind it. This stuff sticks pretty good just by itself. So we're going to see. It is pretty much a paste, I will say that. finish mixing this up and I'll see you in a minute. All right I got my ladyfish all mixed up now. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little spoonful and kind of make a little patty out of it like so. And we're going to bread these up and we're going to deep fry them and See how that goes. I'm really curious about this. Really curious. All right, well, let me get the rest of these made up and then we'll bread them up. All right, guys, I got my little patties all made. Now I'm just gonna stick them in here and bread them. I already got some french fries going. Kind of looking forward to this. They almost look like a, a chicken McNugget from McDonald's. Now, let me get the rest of these breaded up. This is what they look like. That's what we're going for. And I'll put them in the fryer. 
All right, guys. Well, I got my green light. I'm ready to fry. So let's see how we do here. I got one, two. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all in here. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna turn out. Alright, well when these get done, we'll see what we got. Guys, well they're frying up pretty good. They started floating pretty quick. So I'm gonna let them stay in here a little bit longer. I want them to get a nice golden brown. Curious, curious. All right, I think they're done. Let them drain here just a little bit. But they puffed up pretty nice. Man, they they look like a McDonald's chicken nugget. I'll have to say, it looks very chicken nuggety. Well, we'll have to see. They look pretty good though, y'all. Pretty good. Hey everybody, well, we got our uh, our ladyfish here, I don't know, and since Amber caught the ladyfish, I have her as my guinea pig. <laughs> so, here it is, break it open for you. It looks like a McDonald's chicken nugget, it smells like one, so well, let's see what happens. I'm just not too bad. Oh, so I was spitting it out. That's good. Mm. Wow. I am very shocked. That is actually really good. Does not taste like fish. Has a, a chickenish texture. I don't even know what to say. That is. Wow. <laughs> And something you eat again? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, guys, that's a trash fish or treasure. I guess if you do it right, it's a treasure. So, wow. All right. I guess I'll be keeping ladyfish again. It was pretty good. All right, guys. Well, thank you, everybody that has subscribed. I'm over 160. I'm very happy about that, and I appreciate each and every one of you that has subscribed already. And if you haven't subscribed yet, and you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and that little bell for notifications so you get notified every time I, I do a new video. And please hit a, a thumbs up, give me a like, and give, shoot me a comment, talk to me, uh, give me a suggestion, or just say hey. Well guys, until next time I see you on the water, tight lines y'all. Who'd have thought ladyfish would be good? You know, I'm definitely doing the trash fish or treasure with these.